a letter to God, and mine is a letter from God. As you got up, I watched and hoped you would talk to me. Just a few words, such as thanking me for doing something good in your life yesterday, or even last week would do. But I noticed you were busy selecting the right clothes for work. I waited again to hear from you. You ran out of the house, collected <coughs> papers, and I knew there would be a few more minutes just to stop and say hello, but you never slowed down. I wanted to tell you, I could help you accomplish more than you ever dreamed possible. Amen. If you would just spend some of your day with me. At one point, you waited 15 minutes in a chair with nothing to do. I waited to hear from you. I saw you spring to your feet. I thought you wanted to talk to me, but you ran to the phone and called a friend. As I watched, off to work you went and waited patiently all day long to hear from you. All your activities, you were too busy to talk to me. I noticed at lunch, you never looked around. Maybe you felt embarrassed to talk to me. You glanced three tables over and noticed some of your friends were talking to me before they ate, but you wouldn't. There was still more time left, and I hoped we would talk. You went home and had many things to do. After they were done, you turned on the TV. Just about everything goes on there. You spend hours, many hours watching. I waited as you continued you, as you continued watching TV and ate your meal, but again, you wouldn't talk to me. At bedtime, you were totally tired, and after you said goodnight to your family and you plopped into bed and fell asleep, I hadn't, uh, I had so much wanted to be part of your day. We could have had so much fun and accomplished so much together. I love you so much that I waited and I wait every day for a, th a thought, prayers, or thanks. Maybe tomorrow I'll be waiting. Your friend, God. Amen. Amen.